Hello guys, BK here and welcome to my channel. This video will be short and sweet and if I help you, please consider subscribing to my little channel. Show me some support. I don't upload much, only when I mess something up. A week ago, I bought a new PC and it came with new Windows 10 operating system. Then I moved all my stuff to new PC, this one, including my email accounts. I don't use Microsoft email clients, I like this one, it is called EM Client. As you can see, I have several email accounts and I thought that they were all IMAP accounts, as they should be. But one of them was an old email account with some important folders and emails and it was still a POP3 email account. I was surprised and I felt stupid. I thought I'd stopped using POP3 years ago and that everything was on IMAP as it should be. We all need that server sync now. There is no point nowadays to use POP3. For the purpose of this video, let us say this is the POP3 email account and this is the folder we need to move to a new machine, to a new, actually, the same email account, but now IMAP account. Since all other email accounts were and still are IMAP accounts, just grab that folder, or more in my case, there were hundreds of emails I needed to move to a new PC, just grab them and drag that folder to nearest IMAP email account. Then that will sync to an old machine first. Hit refresh and sync a few times to be sure. Then go to the new machine and sync them there also. When they are synced there, just grab that folder or folders from that email account and move them to the email account they belong to, which is now IMAP account, not POP3 as it was and still is on the old PC. Now, when that folders are in the right place where they should be, just hit sync, refresh a few times to be sure, and everything will be back where it belongs. And that is it guys, that is the easiest way to move POP3 to IMAP account. Nothing to export, nothing to import, no hustle, simple drop and drag. Thank you all for watching this video, I hope I help you with this stupid problem, and I will see you in a few weeks hopefully months when I mess something up again. Bye guys!